Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start, or really in the middle of a new campaign in Old World Blues, A to Z series in which we're trying to play as every nation. My god, is this getting crazy. Um, but we're playing as Archdiocese of Santa Fe. At the time of this recording, I didn't realize that I completely missed the A's and uh, completely missed Archdiocese, which has been an okay nation. And I'm going to be straight up honest with you, um, we've had to use cons commands for this because we're fighting Lanius right now and it has gone horrendously. Um, regardless. We have mid-infantry tech, which is what we need, mid-support tech, which is good. Special forces is kind of bad. Um, everything else is okay. We're not going to use power armor. Vehicles don't ma matter for us too much. Robots don't matter. So, really, as long as we got these two here, that's what really matters. Special forces would be nice, but you don't have to have them, but they would be very, very, very nice. And besides, we can get cast anyways. But, like I said, uh, I've had to use cons commands because you can't win this. It's, it's basically impossible against Lanius. Uh, we've lost 3,100. We've killed off 4,300, which is actually pretty decent, but it's 2,277. Uh, yeah, 2277, and uh, yeah, uh, it's going. It's definitely going right now. Um, Lanius has a lot of manpower still. Uh, he's out of equipment because because of the attacks they've done. At this point, we're on the offensive. Um, would I recommend this? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely not. But we got a little bit of money. Not much. And we're out of infantry equipment. We're out of support equipment. But these are the divisions we are working with. We're a religious nation, which being an archdiocese of Santa Fe, which actually I've been to Santa Fe. It's a really cool place. I'd highly recommend going someday if you haven't been there. Led by Archbishop Robert Dagger. He was born in a small village outside of Santa Fe. Dagger has been active in the church from an early age, something of a reformer, though just as loving of Old World Scripture as any archbishop before him. Dagger guides the archdiocese alongside, or forwards alongside his many close advisors. We've got the memorabilia. The greatest mission of the Santa Fe Archdiocese is to preserve the memorabilia of the old world. Writings that have been survived that have survived the Great War and the chaos that followed it. Through hiding, smuggling, and memorizing and copying old world writings, they have made great strides to the day. Uh, legacy of the Saint Leibowitz. Saint Leibowitz was an electrical engineer before the Great War. When the bombs fell, he fled the military base he worked in, seeking refuge from the nuclear fire in one of the churches of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Later he became a monk in the order, becoming one of the Archdiocese's best agents, betrayed by his close friend Leibowitz, became a martyr. Years later, he was canonized by the 102nd Archbishop in recognition for his work protecting valuable remnants of the old world. The monks continued to guard his relics, but would rather lose their lives than see them lost. And then we have survivalists. We're also using Old World Blues, of course, Old World Blues tech expansion, and Old World Blues, uh, the one that gives us a generic focus tree, expanded generic focus tree for minor nations that do not have um, focus trees, or unique focus trees. And we also went with Empower the Mayor, which meant ruler. We're still sticking with our Archbishop. Um, we went martial law because it gave us uh, better army XP gain, as well as four more divisions, three percent more recruitable population, and then even more defense on core territory, more recruitable population factor. So just because I figured we need as many divisions as possible, and I was right. I was completely right. I w this is not easy. So yeah, so there's that. But they're out of equipment, which is really good for us. Some more damage to do, less damage uh, they can do to us. Not bad, and we won't win every battle, but we also went down conventional warfare. And you know what? We're gonna go to find militias. I wanted to go to Woke Up Army here, but it is what it is. Um, so we're gonna do whatever we can. We could have support the attack down there, but we're not going to. We're here to do damage. Finally, that we can finally, finally, finally do some sort of damage to these people. Um, but yeah, these priests of war, not bad. 20 copy with. Uh, spec Ops divisions, I mean, that'd be nice, but we only have basic Spec Ops tech, which is not, you don't really need very much for them, in all honesty. You really don't. Uh, I'd like to attack here, but that's five divisions, and that's quite a few that we don't have. We're salvaging new tools, which would be great. We have 18 factories, which is pretty decent for us. Of course, we did use up all these, and we're going to get more cities now, too. Let's move loser war, or battle, I should say, first. And there you go. Oh, you can come in here, too. It's overall not bad. They've just been beating the crap out of themselves and whatnot. So, But yeah, no, honestly, I had to use cons commands. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This was not easy. This was really, really, really not easy. I think I'll max out on our infantry first. We're in the planes. You know what? Trading lightly for planes and desert? I think that would make a lot of sense for us. Oh, occupied territories, and we still have no manpower, but you know what else is new here? Welcome to Old World Blues. Uh, you don't want to do this. You don't need to go there. You literally don't need to go there if you take this towel. And they have co uh, chariots too, which is nice. Followers establish themselves, which is fine with us, which makes sense for us. I'll let them do their deeds. We'll put it like that. Coordinate assault and triple warfare, because we literally don't have vehicles, so there'd be no point to do vehicles. And then I want you to go 
Oh, uh, go here. We can circle three divisions. And that would actually be pretty good for us. They have three divisions still here. It's alright. They've lost almost 5,000. Battle for Hoover Dam. Sounds like Kaga. Old World Wall holds. And can you get there? Sewing. Oh, build sewing homes. Nice. And rebuilding industries. Yes. Good. Nice, nice, nice. And you're almost there. Get there, get there, get there. Yay. We only circle two divisions, but that's all right. There you go. Help them out. And by help them out, I mean just cut them off. Not bad. That's something. Other guys move around the lines just a little bit. So. Planning camp. Command power. Focus on internal sphere. Procurement things. We did buy a lot of guns separately. Uh, we still need more guns. We're looking all right. Steam donkeys. Uh, hurts our stability, but I want more manpower. We just need it. Uh, you know what? That would be good. Not a bad place to attack. That would be a good place to attack, too. I would like to get these divisions over here as well. But they're not mandatory. So, you know what? Help them out. Screw it. Just kill them off. If you can. Rebuild the industries. Expander markets. Stability. Passive caps and come out like that. Uh, explore some police stations. Sure. I would like to cut at least four divisions off here if we can get to do that. That'd be great. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, now it's time to do that here. Also, we do the Sun Dogs here because I think they're one of their decisions is to help us out, and so they're like, "Okay, we'll help you out." And I'm like, "Okay, we could use your help." We have no consumer. Oh, we have a few consumer goods. Let's get a few of them. So that's decent. Good. Oh yeah, this is definitely right for the taking. Make things as easy on us as possible. Oh, they're attacking us here too. Four divisions, or at least one division attacking us, huh? Not doing so hot, huh? Four, not bad. Keep keep breaking them. Breaky, breaky, breaky. Good. I'd like to go here, here. That'd be nice. But let them waste their strength first. And I'm going to send you the weak one first, and you guys go here. See what you can do. Vacuum tubes are good. And some primitive radio. Alright, they do that, that's fine. Whatever. Disassembling weapons, yes. You can do that real quick. So now we can attack either tile here. And if they want to keep attacking us, honestly, I'm okay with that. Mm, you know what, since we're here, I'm going to choose one of these. Um, so we're, you know, a nation for raiders. Not well, not really, not really a raider nation. Um, we're an old survivalist nation from that's religious, old school tactics. Sound like what we should do? Sure, it's been done a ton of times, but that just means it's tried and true. What more could you ask for? Better reinforce rate. I like that. Right hand men, uh, religious order. I can trust my leadership of my men to the people by my side. They'll be my lieutenants. More stability, army leader, cost, strategy, know-how book. Old books, old knowledge of many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies. Honestly, that makes the most sense. I'm going to choose that one just because uh, we're an old nation here, so, or remnants of an old nation and whatnot. So, you know what? I'm going to let them just continue doing what they're doing. If they want to kill themselves? Great! Too bad you can't tell those people in real life. You know? I need to hear that from me. Green all around. Even the Sun Dogs, their chariots are doing okay. We have a cup of coffee here, too. And we made another division. So, yeah. Would I recommend playing as, uh, this group? No. Absolutely not. Are you an infantry leader? Oh, you are. Darn it. Fine. You can disassemble weapons, relics of war. That sounds pretty good to us. And I'll get another field commander. Why not? What do you got? Oh, no. He's a lone wolf. Honestly, we're not going to have that many special forces divisions anyways. Honestly, that makes the most sense. You know what? Screw it. I hate the lone wolves, but this guy actually might be okay. Jeez. And we'll use sniper as well. There you go. Ooh, and a left giver too, maybe? Perhaps? Yes. Order of St. Joe, was it Joseph? L Lauren? Something like that? I don't remember. I'm like half paying attention. Standing Rock. Very nice. Buckaroos. That's our stability, but I want that manpower and critical population. Without the Old World, even with the Old World Blues, like, Reaper focused re tech expansion, I should say. Oh, do we need to, um, This is still impossible. <laughs> with all the buffs you get as a minor nation. Yeah, we'll look up Drummies next. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to circle as many divisions as we possibly can. 
There you go. So we can get those two of the divisions and help us out. Hey, look at you, what you look at that. Very likes war. Fantastic. You know what? We're going to save our political power. Let them do that first real quick. Exhaust themselves. Get that extra PP. And uh, go to a local army. Boop. Nice. There you go. Let them exhaust themselves. Oh, and we should probably choose focus. Sure, more caps. We could use more caps and come. We only make eight. But once we take these guys out, we'll get Castra Sol Rubrum and the pass. Which would be nice. Oh, there's the Santa Fe ruins up here on four infrastructure. Odd, but okay. Yeah, since we're here. Yeah. I'm a big sucker for cam companies. If you know my channel, you know me. I love chemical companies. I love chemicals. Alright, so I think we're gonna take uh, let's take, take you and go here. We need some anti-tank on our spec ops. And even then they're not very good. I wanna maximize the infantry first. Probably. Even though spec ops are just clearly better. Oh well. Prioritize consumer goods or produce consumer goods would be nice as well. Happy October, everybody. Uh, okay. Doing pretty well with this. Ooh, now we're 70, darn it. Well, there you go. Nice. Oh, did I do inspirational for you? Oh, crap. I should not have done that. I should have done local leader. My bad. Well, we're not going to have very many special forces, are we? So that's why we're not going to really use them too much. Can we do a general attack? That's a good question. A little more manpower is good. Resource extraction, factory output. I already have this one. And it's a little ahead of time for all of these. Uh, look at this one. Could you do this and do okay? Hopefully. Play working is good. Uh, do this one too. It won't take very long for you to do that one. And that really helps us out with the army XP. So, more recovery rate? Yep. Ooh, and they're forcing attack. You know, after this, can we take anybody out? Oh, we'll have to take out Twin Mothers, maybe. Maybe Summers? Summers Federation, Field of Refugees, Followers of the Apocalypse, Lovers of the Bomb. What type of bomb are we talking about here? Oh, they kind of unique folks, street ish. Sort of ish. Maybe a generic New Mexico one. I forget off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. Mark Connor. Very Romanesque. Good. Good. Very good. Just keep beating the crap out of them. It's nice having five focus trees. Five up. Uh, five focus trees. Five research slots. We are out of scrap, but we will get enough scrap eventually. Start working on radios. That's going to be very important. Up them out. Get another one. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh! A supplement. 1v1, eh? Yeah, just help them out here. The faster you destroy them, the faster they won't live. And we're actually decent on manpower for now. 3,000, almost basically 4,000 lost versus 10,000. That's pretty good. That's fine, whatever. Research speed, four ways, old world tactics. Uh, speed would be, would be nice. Wouldn't, wouldn't be bad, I should say. Tactical awareness of mapping, sure, why not? Good. I love the refined mixtures. More HP is very good too, and better reinforce rate as well. I love it. Just help them out. If they really want to die there, I mean, they will they will die. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Look at that. Oh, they died. Who, who could have seen that one coming? Uh, of course. We're going to spend a lot of time in New Mexico. Uh, in all honesty, I would like you here. You can circle the capital, which would be very nice. Just keep beating the crap out of them if you can. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, this. You should help out each other. We are one army. One archdiocese of New Mexico that is going to grow vastly larger. And get more self detected. Because why wouldn't you? Take the Air Force. That would be bad. We haven't really focused on. Oh! Ah! We got him! Look at that. Yeah, she had to go all the way to the bottom. Ooh, bloody skirmishing. Yeah. 
A portion from Red Sun City have confirmed that the Archdiocese of Santa Fe troops have captured Castro Sol Rubra. Headquarters of Legate uh, Lanius' military cohort. Whether it was an open battle through guerrilla tactics or the Legate had the same failing of the New Mexican butcher is yet to be determined. But it's known is that the Legate's headquarters in the eastern half of the Red Sun City has been overrun, with legionnaires cut down and gunned down as a fleet. Surviving members were executed for cowardice in a few instances. They returned to Legion lines. Let's push them across the Rio Grande. Well, let's hold on there, man. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Uh, we are no shaping, so. As we're going to start training some of our guys for boats. I wonder if we can take on these guys. Seriously, though. Uh, intro fighter. This guy's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. A little less naval damage. Sure, whatever. But still. Oh, sure. Because we have two openings here. Uh, I'm going to send you guys right here. Hang out. They're going to attack our line quite a bit. You're going to do that. And then everyone else is going to kind of like hang out and be like, hey, how's it going? January, so we're going to continue with simple circuitry. Nice. And we're going to get one more. Because we still need to make them even larger. The big good well equipped army. Uh, I'm going to outsource our auxiliaries, part standardization, grab that too. Uh, overall, it's not too bad. We're making radios. We need more special forces. We need a couple more infantry equipment. We need more scrap, period. Um, but we did grab a trade note, which is going to help us out immensely. Where else did the pass? And the passes too. It's not great trade now, but hey, you know what? New Mexico could be rich. Even though I don't think it's a very rich state, period, but you know, whatever. Uh, train, why not? Hang dogs and sun dogs, all right, great. Uh, we could do this for blueprints, but I'd rather just have the raw scrap, in all honesty. Oh, we also need to pick our doctrine. I forgot about this one too down here. My bad, it's only 10%, but whatever. Yeah, we'll just maximize our infantry first. Very heavily infantry focused. All right, so what's the AI done? Not much here. It's a level what trade note eight. Oh, that's pretty good. Just let time go on because we need time. Seventy. Why would you not choose that? Oh, promote the note. Yeah. Level three is not great, but hey, it's better than nothing. You know. Excellent. Level four. So now ninety-two is not bad. And how much are we out? Equipment. But since we've been doing this for a while, we're gonna do this one. Okay. Do we need more support equipment? We do need a little bit more support equipment, don't we? And restore for bliss. We'll get to that one eventually. We're picking our doctrine. And organizational relations. We're going to do this. Gun runners. And we're going to buy common bellicist weaponry. Yes, because our relations are now 66. Fantastic. And, oh. Hit and run. Well, we have conventional. It's probably defensive positions. Full-time professionals would be bad. Brutal guys. Harsh training. Recovery rate, infantry defense, conventional warfare, yeah. Strict entrance exams, probably not. 2% re reduction in, holy crap. That's kind of insane. 2% is absolutely, 4% total, holy crap. Um, that is completely insane. We're very defensive. This seems like the, this seems like the route we should choose, since we're very defense focused, because we just wanted to survive. Or we're not going to just survive, we're going to push out. Mobile fortifications. Lots of defense. We need every single little bit that helps us out, though. Full-time professionals? Well, we're not really professionals. I'd like to go down this route, but let's go down. Hit and run would be nice. Wars of Deception. Operation Pre-Prep. War of Resistance. Division Defense. Enforcers, even. Ooh. You can actually get quite a bit more attack, defense, and speed. Let me do it like this. Let's hit and run. Well, we're defensive posture. We do not seek war, but in the century where there's only war, we must prepare ourselves. We must really give a strong response to any external aggression. Even though we're kind of being the aggressors now. But don't tell him that. Don't tell God that. God said, go be forth, uh, go forth and multiply your... Uh, yeah. So. Um, yeah. So we're going to go forth and multiply. Hello. That actually might work out really well for us, the executives. How many more days do we need to wait? Because oh, oh, about a month left. And then we get a core stuff tier too, which will greatly boost us up. Don't tell me the executives are going to win. Please don't tell me they're going to win. Destruction of Mount Rushmore goes kaboom. Out of manpower, but what else is new? And since we're here, economic advisors. Faith management. You know what? We're going to grab you immediately because you're not know, supposed to compliance. 
and that would be a great thing. Defense posturing, um, entrenching of positions, general defense planning, that seems like that makes sense. This one is probably pretty good for us. Uh, the wasteland is a dangerous place with many foes. For man to machine a creature to horrific abomination, we must ensure defenses are prepared for any of these threats. Getting people to be accepting of a war on our soil will be tough, but doable. Better defense, which is nice. Oh man, they are losing. How are you losing? Don't lose. I want I want to take you for ourselves. We've been waiting the entire time for this guy, dang it. Campaign in the home front. They're teaching our forces the land they operate in and the importance of protecting their families will ensure the loyalty and strength of our forces. Security on the border. Our force must be prepared to face foes on the border, be them raiders or any invading force. Training our troops for these outcomes is paramount. Alright, we're just going to go on in. Let's go. This is good for army speed, too. So I'm from the home front. Well, we need war support, so. Volatile shack market. We'll take the caps. Recon. Nice. Good stuff. Even though I don't think we're even using recon right now, but whatever. Hey, you're encircled. Good job, guys. Are we going to get anything here at all? We have 8%. I hope we can take a tile. That's what I want. A tile. Because if not, we're kind of screwed. Let's go in. I don't care what. Just take more losses or something. Okay. We can take at least one. That's what we wanted. Now they're going to come fight us? That's my question. I'm surprised that they were actually so aggressive with these guys. Um... Are they not going to just fly on us? Chief executive, huh? Seems kind of cool. No, they just went to war with them anyways. Okay, well, whatever. White legs? I love white legs. Um, paying our troops well. Uh, well paid soldiers ensure that they will fight harder. Most of the cats will go to the families ensuring that they're happy as well as bolster our support for any conflict that we face. Makes sense. And better equipment for our troops. Giving out... Now, giving our troops better helmets and equipment, uh, we'll make sure defending the homeland will be far easier than our foes. So, I think we did there. We did very well. I mean, obviously, you need cons commands to survive against the Lanius, but then again, I don't think anyone can survive against Lanius. And then again, once I say that, someone's going to be like, I can do it. I'm like, okay, you probably can. I'm not very good. I'm okay. I'm, I'm decent at the game. I'm not fantastic. I just enjoy playing it a lot. So, regardless, we'll have one more episode in which we'll try to take as much of New Mexico as we possibly can. Uh, we might get ourselves involved with the Legion, maybe, but we'll see. Take out the Hangdogs, maybe. We'll see. You know, you never know. But hey, if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing as the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll spread our religiosity all across New Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.